have a dear to another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious pasta salad. This pasta salad right here, it's outrageous. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Jeannie Young salad, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my pasta salad before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some nice veggies. Some veggies that is really going to spruce up this recipe. And I choose to use cucumbers and some fresh tomatoes. You're going to need some black olives. Now, not everybody likes black olives for some reason. Um, but if you don't like black olives, then leave it out, okay? So we're going to use some black olives. If you can't find the sliced, I wasn't able to find the sliced black olives today. So we have whole black olives and we're just going to slice them down. You're going to need some Italian dressing. If you can find the zesty Italian dressing, use that. But make sure you get a good name brand Italian dressing, okay? And then also you're going to need some tri-colored, which is like the rainbow colored spiral noodles. That's what we have here. And you're going to need some zesty Italian seasoning packet. It's almost like the ranch powder that I get, and it's located in the same section where you would find the salad dressings, and on the top you would find this and the ranch powder. You will need some meat to put into this pasta salad. So we have two huge chunks of hard salami. Absolutely, you could use like a pepperoni if you wanted to. And then you're going to need a couple of spices so we can spice this thing up. You will need some parsley flakes just to make everything nice and beautiful, some black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Before we get started, I want you all to say hello to these two bump on the logs. You see Polo over there and we got Prince here. He's knocked out cold. <laughs> They're so spoiled. So now you can see that we are here at the larger stove and what I want to do right away is salt our water. Our water is boiling anytime you're making rice, you're making potatoes or noodles. You salt the water so that you give your pasta, your rice or your potatoes flavor. We're going to use about a pound and a half, okay? So that'll be about a box and a half, okay? Just like so. And what I like to do is I like to aim to cook these for 11 minutes. When you cook these for 11 minutes, cook your noodles for 11 minutes, it's going to make them nice and al dente. And what al dente means is they're going to be chewy to the tooth and never mushy. The last thing you want is mushy noodles. So now what we want to do, let's go ahead and start cutting up our veggies. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. You all asked me for recipes that you could make for your Christmas. I know there's so many people that are unsure what to make for Christmas, and I can totally understand why. Now, as far as all, everything, every video that I do for the month of December is ideas to give you all, you know, something that you can make and take to your loved one's dinner table. This recipe right here, you have to make it. You ha it can't be a holiday without Gina Young style pasta salad. This pasta salad has so much flavor. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm taking some of the skin off of the cucumber because I'm really not a fan of the cucumber skin. I will leave a little bit on because it makes it, you know, kind of nice and beautiful. But for the most part, we take a lot of it off. So this is just how it, you know, how we do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. You left a little bit of green on, but you took most of it off. Okay? So now, here's how I like to chop my cucumber. If I haven't said I hope that you all are having an amazing day, I do. I hope you all are having a great day. Let me know in the comment section below, are you done with your Christmas shopping? You know, um, have you planned your dinner yet for Christmas? I cannot believe it's getting ready to be a new year. Like, I literally cannot believe this. The years, the years are going by so fast. Tell me if you feel the same way. Here's what I need to do, guys. My cutting board is moving like crazy. 
I'm going to get a wet paper towel or a wet dish towel. I'm going to put it underneath uh, my cutting board and I'll be right back. Problem solved. We got um, a wet dish towel, a clean dish towel. We put it underneath here. There's going to be no more moving of the cutting board. So I'm going to cut my cucumber just like so. I don't feel like people use enough of cucumbers. Cucumbers have an amazing taste. It's kind of like you have to know what to pair the cucumber up with. You know, cucumbers go perfectly with tomatoes, with acidity things like Italian dressing, you know, with feta cheese. Like, you gotta know what to pair it up with in order for it to taste good. Here's what our cubes look like. We're gonna set it right there into that bowl, and we're gonna do the same thing with this other uh, cucumber. I'll do that one off camera. And when I come back, we'll get started on our tomatoes, just like so. So now we're gonna get started on these juicy tomatoes. Listen here, when you bring your veggies home, I know I see it in almost every video, but I'm so serious when I say this. When you bring your veggies home, make sure you take the time to wash them off. You never know, you know, who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. And then again, you always wanna wash off those nasty pesticides. Like take the time out to give them a nice wash off when you bring them home. You know, people could be sneezing on top of them. You never know what happens, you know? <laughs> I think about stuff like that. Like, do you do you guys think about that? Like, you know, someone could have scratched their self and handled your, you know, your cucumber or your tomatoes before you brought them home. So when you wash them off, you don't have to have that worry, you know. So now I like to chop up when I'm making this here salad, I do like to chop my tomatoes and my um, cucumbers kind of big. And the reason why is because one time I made this salad and what I did was I turned around and I cut them really small. And I felt like once I added the Italian dressing, the Italian dressing kind of made them shrink up to even smaller pieces and I wasn't happy with that. So what I started doing when I made this salad is make, you know, like big pieces like this that way, if they shrink like they did that one time, you won't have that issue. So now what I wanna do is I wanna cut down into the hard salami and here's how I like to do it. Okay, make sure when you go to your local deli, you tell them that you want hard salami and say I wanna slice, you know, kinda like this and they, you know, normally they don't have any problem. So it's up to you how big you wanna slice the meat. Um, normally I'll use about four pieces, but we just have two pieces today. So we're gonna cut the pieces kind of small so that we have a nice amount in our salad. Okay, so gorgeous. We got some beautiful hard salami here in our bowl. We have our cucumbers and our tomatoes. You can even use a summer sausage if you wanted to. I have made this and I put uh, beef summer sausage in it and no one can tell the difference. Like they thought it was hard salami in it. You know, have fun with it. If you're a person, like I said, if you wanted to do a pepperoni, just go to your deli. Tell them you want some thick sliced pepperoni. You chop it up and throw it in there. It's gonna be delicious. But I do find that, excuse me, when you use the pepperoni, you know how it has like the red oil a little bit in the pepperoni that may rub off into your salad and change the color a little bit, but as far as the taste, it would be delicious. Okay, so now, when I come back, we're gonna get started slicing up our black olives just like so, but if you're able to find them already sliced, then you don't have to do that. So our noodles are done, and what I like to do, and now this is very important, it's very important that after your noodles are done cooking, um, you wanna make sure that you rinse your noodles off in cold water. I've rinsed them until they're nice and cold because you don't want to mix together this salad while your noodles are hot. It'll really disturb the situation, okay, if that makes any sense. So we have our beautiful veggies, we have our noodles here, about a pound and a half of them. And now what I wanna do is I wanna incorporate some black olives. Like I said, usually I find these already sliced, but since I couldn't, it's okay. 
It's nothing to be stressed out about. Take a look at these. Just slice them. You know, and what I like is it does give a great flavor. But more than the flavor, it gives an amazing color. So you have that green from the cucumber. You have that beautiful uh, color from the hard salami. You've got that bright red and you got the beautiful rainbow color noodles. And then you throw in specks of black everywhere and it is just simply gorgeous. It's one of the most beautiful pasta salads that I like to make. And I'm going to be honest with you, when I make it, I'm not just saying this because I make it. When I make it, people cannot stop eating it. And so what I have to do, this is so true, I have to set, set aside a couple of bowls for, you know, like our household, because otherwise people will just, they'll just tear into it and they don't care that they're leaving you nothing. <laughs> they don't. They just know that they love this salad. And if you wanna have some left over before you present it to everyone, get you a couple of bowls and throw them in the refrigerator <laughs> for you and your family, you know. So now, now that I'm done slicing up our black olives just like so, when I come back, I'll show you all what you need to do next. Now it's time to mix together our salad. So we have our beautiful noodles that we've rinsed off with cold water to get them nice and cold. We got those gorgeous tomatoes, hard salami, and lots and lots of cucumbers. Now listen here, um, if you want it, if you are a vegetarian or you just don't want meat in this recipe, guess what? You don't have to put meat in it and guess what? It's still gonna be delicious. You bet it is. It's gonna be amazing, all right? I've made it so many times without the meat, okay? So we're gonna give this a nice stir before. I wanna really bring those noodles up and I wanna make sure that all of these lovely veggies get mixed in just like so before we put in our zesty Italian seasoning packet. So when I use one and a half pounds of noodles, I always use one full packet of this beautiful seasoning. Take a look at it. It's gorgeous and it's real, oh my goodness, it, it has such a great taste. You know, it's what you would use if you were making Italian dressing, okay? So let's get that mixed in just like so. Beautiful. And then I like to put in a little bit of salt. You can skip the salt if you want to, but I'm really only using a little bit. That right there, that's enough. That's enough. And then you gotta put some black pepper in. If you don't like black pepper, it's okay to use white, white pepper, okay? Let's mix that in. Same thing. Let's get it well incorporated. So now you may see that I did change my bowl to my favorite wok. And the reason why is because I felt like everything was kind of really filling up that clear bowl, okay? And I didn't, I wanted to be able to have a chance to stir it because I felt like that bowl was too small for me to stir it because my ingredients were going all over the floor and the dogs were going <laughs> under my feet and they were having a good time enjoying those noodles and tomatoes that fell on the floor, okay? So, we have everything nice and seasoned. We're gonna go in with some parsley flakes just to make it beautiful, okay? Just like so. Now, I have to be honest with you guys, it's gonna taste great, but the next day, <laughs> listen here, it's the next day is when this baby tastes amazing and you won't be able to stop eating it. So now I'm gonna open up, if I can get this Italian dressing opened up, we're going to then pour the whole bottle in. And this is a 24 fluid ounce. If you make more noodles, you might need more Italian dressing. Keep in mind that this Italian dressing, look at all that flavor. It has so much flavor. It has garlic and just all kinds of stuff. It has red bell peppers, onion. I'm reading the back of it. <laughs> all kinds of good spices. But like I said, I always start off with 24 fluid ounces, use the whole bottle. And sometimes your noodles may soak up a lot of the dressing. And if you want it to the next day, if you feel like it's a little bit of dry, a little bit dry, go ahead and always have another bottle, you know, at hand so you can turn around and 
add more Italian dressing if you want to. When I come back, I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. Oh, we can't forget. Let's add our tapatio. Hold on, guys. Someone's at my door. Okay, everyone, so you can see that we put the beautiful pop of color in there, which is our gorgeous olives. Give it a nice stir, just like so. <laughs> You're gonna love, love, love this. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to your family and friends and everyone you know to the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. But stay tuned because you all are going to get that first bite after my prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today. We thank you, Lord, for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head. The food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Take a look at this beautiful salad, Jeannie Young style. Make you some. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Look at this. Take a bite. <laughs> yes. It's amazing. It's so flavorful. So easy to make. Make it for your Christmas. And then come back and let me know what you think about this recipe. I, I am so excited. All right. If you would get on my fork. Why does that always happen? It's like I can't pick the food up, guys. Look at this. I'm going in. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Guys, listen here. So much flavor. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm.